Hi, this is not Keith Elwin, and you're watching Papa 14 Qualifying. We're going to watch Tron Legacy here with Cyberroy, the Dutch Tommy, the man with the big hat that covers the flippers, Roy Wills from the Netherlands. Terrific player, and we'll see how he handles Tron. This Tron is set with the outlane posts removed, regular flippers, but uh, Tron a pretty tough game to get, to get anything really going on. And we'll talk about some of the strategies as we go. Uh, Roy getting started here. He's uh, been doing a, bit, a little bit of flailing around here. He's got the ball back into the Flynn saucer, uh, the Flynn's arcade saucer on the right. He's choosing to handle that kick out by flipping the ball away. Probably aiming for the left ramp there. And there is, oh, this would be sweet. There's a nice four-way combo. You're going to see Roy end combos off the side ramp by shooting it into that Flynn's arcade for what's called the end-of-line jackpot. He just picked up a 1.4 million end of line, and that value increases as the ball goes on. Every time you make a combo, it adds to the value. So one of the things players do to try and get a good score is to basically go for those end of lines and getting the ball to the upper flipper, putting it around the side ramp, then into the hole. Roy has also opened up the recognizer by shooting the target bank in the center four or five times. Here's a chance for an upper flipper shot. Side ramp, well done. Let's get the end of line. Cash in. Nice shot. 1.4 million for that shot. And with rounds offering jackpots of 300,000, with uh, shots worth 250, a shot that's worth 1.4 million consistently really pays off. Here's another chance. And he misses that time, but uh, he still had part a partial combo there, and that's going to add to the value of the end of line. He's now started light cycle multi-ball. The goal in light cycle multi-ball is to shoot the yellow lights. And there are jack small jackpots, supers, and double supers available. The biggest jackpot is available by shooting it around to, to the gem shot up in the upper right-hand corner. The side ramp is also worth a good jackpot. So here's a chance with an upper flipper shot to cash in a jackpot. And you only get supers if they're made as combos, but check that out. That end of line was a 3.5 million. It's actually 1.75, but he also has double scoring running from the Tron shot. And uh, it's a really serious cash in. Double scoring is going to be running for a few more seconds here, and you get double scoring by completing the bank of stand up targets on the left side while uh, the double scoring light is flashing. So just with. Uh, so Roy's got about uh, 14 million right now as he cashes in another end of line. 2.1 million for that shot, and he shot the inner loop four times, which starts Quora multi ball. During Quora multi ball, you can add balls by hitting the recognizer targets several times over. You'll need three shots to get the first ball out. That looks like a drain, but it's not really. The ball save is still on. And now, ball added it becomes a three ball multi ball where ball saver comes back on and he adds another ball that's going to make it the full four no more balls can be added now so Roy will switch to concentrating on the inner loop the quarter shot to add to a jackpot and then trying to make the gem shot for a cash in additionally also available at this point still is the end of line so if if Roy makes a side ramp shot and then shoots the hole on the right the Flynn shot He's going to cash in 2.1 million points, which is more than the value of the super jackpot in this multi-ball. So some players begin to concentrate just on end of line as that value grows. He's trying to hit the uh, the corner, the green shot in the back there. Keeps hitting that U target just to the left. Very, very uh, frequent shot missed by players. And there's a carom into the gem for a super jackpot of woo, 1 million points. So some of the scoring balancing is a little off on Tron at times, and uh, I actually think it gives players opportunities to figure out where the points are and what to go for. There's another one million points. Uh, also potentially lost in the shuffle is that the gem shot is also the bonus multiplier. So the gem shot actually is more valuable than it at first appears. That gem shot he's kind of cashed in, I think it would be at a 4x multiplier already. and. Um, the multiplier is driven by the lights in the center. Those lights from bottom to top as he starts light cycle multi-ball again with a 2.45 million cash in on end of line. That is some serious points right now. And during this second light cycle multi-ball, as uh, Roy continues to rack up some good stuff right here, 
Uh, he's going to try some more to get side ramps and then cash ins. There's another one. Two and a half million points for that one shot. At, instead, the game shows us a 400,000 animation. There we go. 2.45 million for one combo. And that's going to stay. Isn't that combo value will not go down during this entire ball. So Tron becomes a game where the longer you let balls go and the tough drain out of the multi-ball there. But Roy locked in on that side ramp and another cash in, another 2.45 million. Just a beautiful play here. He's really got the uh, the side ramp locked down from that upper flipper, which is the, the necessary shot to bring up those end line combos. So we'll see if he can make another one here. He's aiming for poor again. That's a very tight shot at the top. Uh, additionally, Roy is closing in already. This is just ball one on the sea of simulation, uh, sea of simulation opportunity. If he starts this multi-ball, he will have finished all uh, nine of the lights in the center of the play field, and he'll be able to start sea of simulation. There we go. So as this multi-ball begins, all shots are lit for a small amount of points. There is a super jackpot available if you make ten jackpots and then go for the recognizer several times over. Uh, I actually feel that uh, with the opportunity he's built up by having a very strong end of line value, it's to his benefit to go for that instead of going for the jackpots. But that said, there is a second reason to go for the jackpots here, which is the solidly lit lights on the center of the play field are levels that he will not have to go for, a nice tap out there, are levels that he won't have to play when he gets into sea of simulation. So if he can finish off the super here, and it does look like he's going for the combos. Uh, he is taking jackpots when available, but he appears to be going for the inner loop ramp combo. Tough left out lane. Very, very difficult out lane on the left side here. And there's a, there's a first warning. 47 million on the ball, and Sea of Simulation is lit on the Flynn's Arcade. And, you know, the way that Roy's playing right now, he's going to cash this in with a huge bonus. Oh, that was a tough shot to miss there. That would have been a very high value on the end of the line combo. Over 3 million probably at this point. Regardless, oh, there's a drain. Really nothing he could do about that drain. Terrific ball and 10 million in bonus driven by the 4x multiplier that he earned from shooting the gem shot three times. Terrific ball one. 60 million as he plunges. He's going to plunge to start Sea of Simulation. How about that? Sea of Simulation is going to award him... Six million points right off the bat. One, two, three for those first three solidly lit lights. And the fourth light, Zeus, which he did not complete on the ball. He's now going to have to hit the four white targets to get four million. Those are danger targets right there. Uh, he's going to score some points. And then if he can finish this, there's the E. That's a tough one there. Nice bounce in there. Um, Roy kind of doing the right thing and basically aiming for the ramp and just... Not really aiming for the target, but more aiming for the ramp. There's a target hit. He's got to hit the S on the right. This is probably better as a backhand, a little safer. But uh, knowing Roy, he's just going to go gun for it. He got it, and he cashes in an extra $5 million for the green light. Now he's going to have to complete the blue lights. This is one of the tougher tasks. There are a lot of blue lights lit, and he's going to have to make them all. And he's going to be earning 600000 per light. The goal of CF Simulation is to complete all nine tasks, and some of the tasks ideally you want to complete in the in the run of regular play. Nice shot there, nice combo, and he's probably going to cash this in. No, no cash in there on the uh, end of line, because he is actively trying to finish the blue lights. He's got three more lights to go: the left loop, the chorus shot, and the gem shot. This is going to be tough. And if he finishes this, he's then going to have to shoot all the yellow lights, which will include those shots again. There's Quora. He aimed for gem there, but uh, that gem shot is very, very tight. Uh, as he continues here, he's going to have to make that gem. There is a beautiful shot to the gem, uh, which is going to give him just the left loop to make. And, oh, shoot, almost. Roy getting eight out of the nine lights solidly lit. Now the good news is that you can go back into Sea of Simulation a second time if you can finish off the things you haven't. And lo and behold, he jumps right back into Light Cycle Multiball, which had been lit. So a really impressive plunges on Ball 2 and Ball 3 for Roy here. Ball 2 starting Sea of Simulation and Ball 3 starting 
light cycle multi bowl the task that was necessary and there's a double super jackpot the combo achieved there and that will solidly light the last light that is exactly what he wanted here because when this round is over he will have all nine lights solidly lit and portal multi bowl will be lit on the right loop the wizard mode is ready and Roy the only player to, to get to this wizard mode so far, Papa 14 qualifying. And oh, oh, get out of there. Okay. Nice save on the right out lane. You don't want to drain with portal multi ball in, and the ball is still out of control. Oh my. This would be a really tough situation to lose the ball. It looks like he might get it back here and get control, buddy. Oh, he's trying to backhand it in for portal. I don't think that's going to work. Get control. Pass it over. Use a bounce pass. Use a. Oh, man. Uh, great. <laughs> Some really fast and loose play for Roy. It's his style, and uh, it pays off for him here as he starts Portal Multi Ball. During Portal Multi Ball, all shots are lit for jackpots, but what you want to do is concentrate on one individual shot and finish it off. There are four lights on each shot, and if you can hit the shot four times, you will earn an add a ball. And if you have all balls in play, you will instead earn a, a significant ball save time. So as you see there, two of the balls have drained. He's only got one more shot to go on the left loop. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I, I he finished off the left loop, uh, which instead kicked the balls back out again in the ball save time. So the left loop is finished. The left ramp is finished, excuse me. So he's gonna have to concentrate on other shots here and try to finish off one of the shots in order to earn and add a ball. And maybe it will be the side ramp, and it is. The side ramp is completed and another ball is kicked into play. Very nice job there. So each shot is now worth almost a million. The super jackpot is kind of ignorable because you only get that super jackpot if you actually finish everything. Uh, and that's very rare, and that's gonna end the end the round. And that's gonna end the game, wow, just uh, just like that. So under 10 million in Portal Multiball with a really, really solid performance. 113 million for Roy. A well-earned grand champion, portal multi-ball, and a sea of simulation on ball one. Outstanding work by Roy Wills, and uh, we'll see how he does in the final rounds. Thanks for watching.